what not to do when you set your hair the night before. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's 6.40 at night, and I wanted to show you the second part of the brush out. <laughs> Why didn't I do this overnight and film it in the morning? Well, honestly, I had other things I wanted to get done today, and I just had other things I needed to get done today. I wasn't going to go anywhere, and I thought was... I can film it during the day and brush it out at night. Works totally fine. Another thing too is I generally like this set once it's mellowed, so by the second day, I tend to like it a lot more. So I'm gonna undo this, scoff. Oh, isn't that a cool scarf? I love this scarf. I did get it from, well, I inherited it from my grandmother. She passed away in July. So, yeah, but I was really excited because I was sitting there like, oh, I have all these pretty, like, silky kind of scarves, what am I going to do with them? And I know it seems kind of weird to use one on my head, but it actually helps hold in the heat. I get to wear it in a different fun way, and it makes me happy. I don't have a hairnet, so I used my thinner black scarf over it. Okay, guys, so, you know what I didn't do? I did bring my iPad. Hold on, we're gonna go for a ride. I need my iPad because I need to pull up, I need to pull up the video so I can make sure that I'm following what she says. My toddler is pissed off. Isn't that delightful? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the video that I was watching. So this is one of Jessica's tutorials on hair. Um, I think it's all, I think it's all dry. It might actually not be, but it's been sitting since early this morning. So, let me go to her, sorry, this is going to take just a second, I swear. Go to her channel, go to her playlist, and scroll past, just so you know, because she's like super awesome. And I know I mentioned her in my video about my style inspos, and she's one of the most amazing, um, she has a whole bunch of playlists. So she has mobility stuff, um, Christmas, um, historic. She has a lot of stuff about disability, LGBTQ, education, um, and then vintage and travel. So there's all kinds of fun things you can see, but she's super motivating. She's just, she's so, oh, she's so beautiful and elegant and amazing. So anyhow, she'll probably never see this. She has like way over I think it's like 627 or well hold on I'm on her channel I can take a look she has 637 followers she'll never see this that's okay that's not why we do it so okay under the vintage go into hair and makeup and this is her video essentially drunk hair <laughs> essentially drunk hair rolling it's probably not how she says it she says it so much better because you know she's actually English um but Makeup she um, she f discovered it when she was traveling. <laughs> um, and so it was really funny. It was a really funny, it's a funny video just to watch it. But um, I followed it this morning, made sure I was putting everything up correctly. And now I'm just skipping ahead to where she took off her stuff and is going to brush out her rollers. Um, so I do know to just start taking them out Ooh, but I don't know oh she's rolling them straight out okay so some people roll them straight out some other people like untwirl them but she is literally pulling them straight out I don't have a fancy bag I don't even have fancy rollers these are the eight dollar ones from Target but they work really well oh she's brushing each section forgive me not as long as hers either but that's okay that's okay I do like the length of her hair I know that it poses some challenges and it doesn't make I don't well anyway it's just yeah I think it's her hair is beautiful it 
it's amazing and it's longer than most styles that I've seen and I actually really like that because I've always wanted to have long hair um, and I could have at any time of course I'm just blabbing and blabbing and blabbing but if you're still here thanks that's cool you're swell um, but yeah I've always ever had I've always wanted to have long hair but like have any of you, and totally leave a, a comment if you don't mind, and let me know if you've ever thought about this too, but I have broad shoulders and a small head, and I'm rather busty, so if my hair is long, it just kind of elongates this and doesn't, like, it doesn't balance out, so I've usually had hair in varying lengths around here because it helps add, sh add shape up here and balance it all out. <laughs> but anyhow... I've noticed when my hair is curly, it um, it definitely balances that out better. You know, I have to say, because I like, ouch, because I like the second day hair, her method where she doesn't spray the hair directly with the setting lotion, instead she dunks the curlers, is so much better. Oh, this is a thick piece. See how that's gonna be, that's gonna be crunchy. As I just said, it didn't use as much, whatever. Uh, I'm not going as fast as she is, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Some of these are actually still a slight touch damp, so that kind of sucks. That's just on me. Because typically if I let it sit overnight, then I'm doing it the next day, probably like at 10, so they've sat for a long time. Because usually if I set them up over like the night before, I'm usually doing stuff at 7.30 and then sitting and relaxing and whatnot, and so. But I think, man, I really like this. So the one I did earlier this month was um, the bendy roller tutorial that Miss Victory Violet has. And I'm not anti, they're just a lot harder to work with and they're a lot harder to sleep on. They suck to sleep on. I hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them. Okay, I don't hate them, but I guess I do because I just like went off about it and wasn't really thinking. Kind of like when you're drunk and you have no filter and you just kind of say, and you say, yeah, I really like this method. Look at how soft. Like, some people don't want their curls to look this soft, but I much prefer a softer set. Oh, these are, this is one's actually still pretty damp right here. Well, that sucks. I'll have to do another one just to show, like, but I love how much softer the set is. It's so, it's so sweet. Okay. Pull this out. I'm taking too long. I'm taking too long, this video's forever long. Ba -ba 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 I actually like to go through and lock all these down because then when I go to put them away, I'm not having to do, I'm not having to go through and find them all. But see just how much more simple that is. Oh, it's so, it's so soft and pretty. I'm a fan. I'm gonna have to try her other ones. Oh, this baby. I know. It's the little things that make me happy. Like making my vintage hair the way I want to. Finding ways to actually learn how to do that. Yeah, I know. I'm 37 years old. I should know how to do my hair, but oh, that's really wet. Do you see how damp that is? Man, that sucks. Well, we'll get a good idea of it and I'll know if I want to do it again and then we'll just see it in better ones because here's the thing I'm not sharing these videos to show you that I'm perfect and that I know all the things because I've been doing this for years I'm trying to show what it's actually like for someone possibly like me who has devoted more time to her kids than anything else to then go hmm what do I want to do with my life Oh, this one's pretty wet too. So these would definitely need to, like, I would really need to do this at night, obviously, which I typically would do. I'm gonna leave this one. Oh, this is so wet. This is not gonna work. Oh, 
Sorry, I didn't see that. Just straight. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah, it's like totally straight. That really blows. This actually goes on the other side of my head. This one's pretty wet too. Golly, I didn't even do. So then what do you do for the if you really screw up your set? Well, we'll have to improvise with that. But I mean on the sides that are dry, this is actually pretty damp too. This really stinks. This is a really bad set. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to redo this whole thing. I'm gonna have to redo this whole video because it sucks. This whole thing sucks. <sighs> oh well. Hey. This can be a what not to do video. Yeah, because this one's even still wet too. This is actually the part I was most curious about too because it was going to be interesting to see what it looked like when it had that overextended. It does add more volume. I can feel it. That's pretty smart, which makes sense. Similar as if you're going to um, blow dry your hair and you tip your head under. So, because my hair is still super damp, this doesn't work. But if anything, it's a good what not to do. So, what not to do. Um, I think my hair was mostly dry. It was slightly damp um, because in her video, her hair was slightly damp. I, let's see, I put these in at 7.30 this morning. And I just now took them off at 6.30. Now, my hair may be not like yours. And it may dry... Um, it may dry a lot faster. <laughs> I definitely want to redo it. So I think I'm going to immediately reset my hair. <laughs> so I can brush it up tomorrow. <laughs> because I really... I like the lift that's in this. And I liked the parts that were dry and how they came out but yeah okay so what not to do <laughs> make sure you give yourself plenty of time um i know that i had enough warmth on it but this maybe this was too heavy um but i did have on i mean this is a pretty light scarf so then what the thing is is that i have had successful sets before um, they just need to dry all the way and that was the problem here. So What not to do um, give a lot more time than that <laughs> to let them set um, I've noticed that typically if I do my hair at 730 Excuse me. If I do my hair at 730 the night before and then I get up to Brush my hair out. I'm usually not brushing it out until like 9 or 10 so that's a significant time frame, and I realize it might not be one that everyone can do. Um, but I will say that that's what's worked. It's always been dry after that. Um, the only difference is that I've only had the one scarf on, and yeah, we're talking 7.30. So it's probably, I probably have the set done by 8, and I'm going from 8 until 10. That's a lot longer than today. So I need more time. <laughs> and you can see from other videos I've had successful sets this is just a you know flop so I will redo it but yeah give yourself more time all right what not to do when you set your hair the night before make sure you have plenty of time to dry your hair because if you don't it just like it's all flat and weird it doesn't look consistent or as awesome as it could